Hi, everyone. Welcome to the story behind the story. Today, we're talking with Andrea Butcher. Hi, Andrea. I'm so excited to have you here. Please tell us a little bit about yourself and why you wrote this book. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm actually holding a copy of this book. What a journey it has been. The Power in the Pivot really came out of the podcast that I lead, the leadership podcast, Being at Work. But I wrote the book because life is a series of pivots. The leadership journey is a series of pivots. And as I reflect on my career, gosh, I wish I had realized earlier in my career the power of being grounded in something bigger, a bigger picture. I wish I had recognized the power in my relationships. And I wish that I had leaned in and, and stayed in the hard moments. That's the power in the pivot. And I, I want to inspire emerging leaders and any leader who's navigating a pivot, a pivot to leverage the power of those three things, the big picture, the relationships, and leaning into and staying in the hard stuff. Tell us about pivots. What is a pivot? Yeah, I mean, it's any fork in the road. It's any moment of chaos like uncertainty, uncertainty. I don't know what to do here. I've got a transition of some sort. I feel stuck. Those are the pivots. And they happen every single day. Macro pivots, giant big life decisions, but also little decisions about what to do. And there's power in them. If we choose to pause, to reflect, to trust ourselves and the people that love us, the people around us, and that's, that's the power in the pivot. Absolutely. So here at Red Thread, we often call those the breakdown throughs. <laughs> Every breakdown leads to a breakthrough if breakthrough. you can let yourself mm. go into it. But we pull yes. back. We're Perfect. scared of the, the breakdown. And yeah. so we don't get the breakthrough a lot of the time. You got it. We shrink. We get anxious. We don't trust ourselves. We, we pretend that it's not happening. We deny it. We go in a different <laughs> direction. Yes. All, all of the things. Absolutely. And we miss out on that. We miss out then on the valuable opportunity that is that, that lies in the pivot. Absolutely. You have so many great examples in the book. I really hope that you all read it because it's, it's such a wonderful book. So many powerful stories. What I love about it is yeah. that it's stories, you know, it's 52, just, 50. Exactly. So you're right. And that's, you know, it's interesting, the, um, the beta readers who shared testimonials, many people said that's so that's, that's the cool thing about it is it's the stories of over, you know, of over 50 leaders reflecting on pivotal moments in their life. And when you look across the themes of those 52 stories, those, those three ingredients that I mentioned earlier, they really pop out. Absolutely. So let's talk about your pivot here. What did you have to overcome? in order to be able to write and publish The Power in the Pivot? Yeah, this feeling of, I sat on a manuscript for over a year because I didn't feel like it was ready. I didn't feel like it was good enough. I didn't feel like it had the real goods, like the real makings of a, of a book. Like, oh, it's just some things I wrote down. Like Once I got past that and realized like creativity is not ever going to wait for me to be ready. You know, it's it's art. It's a creation. And the real joy and the real magic is in the creation. I mean, and, and I really, I mean, and, and a lot of that has come through coaching and working with great people like you. I realized that like, I don't, I don't have to babysit it. Like now it's out there. It's, it's a creation. And so it is what it is. You know, the, the joy was really in the making of it. Um, and I have no doubt it's going to have, it's, it's going to have good impact on people. So what would you say to someone else who's out there sitting on a manuscript, who hasn't taken the leap, who isn't quite trusting that breakdown to bring them to the breakthrough? What, what would you yeah, say to some, them? I would say someday is not an actual day. <laughs> just, just, just do it. Like tr trust yourself, trust life enough and trust yourself. Clearly you wrote, you wrote it for a reason, like give it life. Why not? Why not? Absolutely. So how can the audience who's listening right now, of course, they can go and buy your book right now, which is wonderful, but how do you support them and their journey beyond this yeah. book? 
So I have a leadership development company called HRT. And so the, I feel like I have the greatest job ever. I'm a professional encourager. I lift up and encourage leaders every day. And so hrdleadership.com is a great way to stay in touch with the, the services, the offerings, the executive coaching that we provide. LinkedIn is also a great way to stay connected to me. I put a ton of content out because a lot of leaders that I engage with are on LinkedIn. And so it's a great way to stay connected. And I think the best way is to subscribe to the podcast and follow the podcast, Being at Work. So again, the book is based on the first year of the podcast. I'm already working on a second book. But of course you are. On the, focused on the power in telling our stories mm. since the show, as you highlighted earlier, is a story-based show. So follow the podcast. I put out every single day, I put out a daily dose of leadership. Wow. And then every other Thursday, we highlight an executive sharing about a pivotal, a pivotal moment. So that subscribe so to and follow be, being at work. It's a great way to stay connected to us. What does HRD stand for? Human resource development. Uh -huh. So we our, our mission is to equip leaders to be the best of themselves so that they get the best of their teams. So when you say leaders, it sounds like you mean executives. Is this a book just for executives? Yeah. No, great question. Leadership is influence and we're all leading wherever you go, there you are and there are your influences. So you know, anyone, you know, and, and the book is, the book is broad in that way. You know, anyone who's navigating pivots in their life wants to have more confidence, wants to learn from other leaders. You know, those are the people that are going to like this book. Leaders at all levels in any type of organization. I love it helping people step into their leadership role wherever they're at. Thank you, you so much, Andrea, awesome. for being here today. And I hope everyone listening will go out and buy The Power and the Pivot right now. Thank you. Appreciate your help. You bet.